Hey everybody, it's Essence Michelle here. Welcome. Hold on. Close the door. Welcome and welcome back to my channel where this channel is about anything and everything. And today I'm going to do a thrift haul. I went to four different thrift stores. Thrift stores. Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, Monday, which was Labor Day. I do want to thank everyone for subscribing, commenting, coming back to my channel. I really do appreciate it and I hope that you all continue to enjoy my videos. So let's get started. I went to a Salvation Army. I went to Second Avenue. I went to Waldorf Thrift Store and I went to someplace else but I can't even remember. So pretty much everything I got was 50% off or there was some type of sale. So I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't remember. The things that do have price tags, uh, every, oh, okay, this is what I'm going to say. Every store that I went into, clothes, shoes, and accessories was 50% off. So that's what we're just going to say. So it doesn't matter which store. I will put in the description box the locations that I went to and all of that. But let me get started because I have a lot. So I'm just going to pull from the pile. Um, I got these uh, loft, which looks like Ann Taylor loft. They're like leggings or jeggings, but if you can hear that, they, they have the feel, the waistband right here, it feels like that neoprene material. They are very stretchy. They're tight. Um, I'm assuming that these could be like leggings, but these were $3.98, and again, they were 50% off. The next is this jacket by Croft and Barrow. And some people will think that this is probably like... A grandma style jacket but I don't know why I feel like I've always wanted a style of jacket like this so it just it just looks like this it's nothing spectacular or special it's just a short jacket it does have a hood um, nice lining on the inside it was in really great condition and I'm happy I'm happy it was $14.96 but we all know like I said, everything, clothes, shoes, and accessories in every store that I went to was on sale. I got this Madewell sweater. It's in this brown material. It is very stretchy. Um, it feels pretty good. The sleeves, both sides have these button, this button details. Really cute. It's not three quarter length. They are, they do go all the way down. But this is what it looks like. Here's the front. And here is the back. And again, the detail is on both sides of the sleeve. Really cute. This is a turtleneck. This is by Sonoma. So it just looks like this is a burgundy. It's kind of long, so it'll be great for to wear with leggings and some boots here. The sleeves, not three quarter lengths, but it's really cute. It is thin, so it's definitely one that um would need to be layered i can probably wear it you know as soon as fall like in the beginning of fall just by itself or with like maybe um a tank top or something on underneath because like I said, it is thin the next thing is this sweater by loft and taylor loft really cute gray sweater there's the front here the sleeves i like the sleeve detail because when it goes on a wrist, it then kind of, you know, falls over, if you know what I mean with that. And then here is the back with the buttons. They don't actually unbutton. It's just a cute little fun detail. Next, we have this sweater by Style & Company. Um, it's a nice color pink. Yeah, a little burgundy-esque. But it has these buttons on the sleeve as well. Nice sleeve. It's not the, it's almost like a, um, a cap sleeve. Not a cap sleeve. But here's the sleeve detail there. And the buttons are just on the one sleeve. And it just has, um, I like when sweaters have the ribbing down at the bottom. Because for some reason, I don't know, that kind of feels like it gives a little bit more fitted feel. There's that. This is a nice wool coat um this was 20 i do remember that can't knock my hat off because my hair looks a mess i'm working from home today um it's a nice wool coat i'm not sure if this is a men's or 
a woman's coat but it's it's it just comes like a little bit past my knee in really good condition not a whole bunch of moth um holes or anything but you can see it's kind of it's a little big it's a little big you can see by the sleeves but i really i like it a lot i've been needing and wanting a camel colored coat there's that next is just some tights here these were 99 cents okay next we have this uh liz claiborne sweater it's really cute i didn't think i was gonna like this and a couple times i was gonna take it out the cart but i was like it's really something different for me because i'm usually just plain solid colors not a whole lot of prints and designs but i just thought this was cute just a red and black simple little sweater these are just some kick around the house um lounging pants they fit a little bit tight they're by Sarah, S-E-R-R-A. They have pockets and they're like a wide leg. So again, these will just be for chill, walk around the house. We gotta run out to the car or whatever. That's what they are. Pretty much everything fit except for a few things were just a little bit tight. But for the most part, everything fit well. This, these are Nicole Miller, this brown pair of dress pants. Functioning front pockets. Um, then you have the back pockets. They're not real pockets. And then they're just a little wide on the bottom. These are nice. And I do like Nicole Miller. I have this skirt, which is, a, this is really a cute skirt. There's no brand on this. Um, but it, it's actually a size 16, but it doesn't fit like a 16. It fits a little snug. So whatever this is. It runs small, but anyway, khaki colored skirt. It's like a denim, but it does have some stretch uh, functioning pockets, I believe. Yes, but the zipper is just a zipper. It's not a real pocket. And then you have the back pockets as well. It's a cute, like midi, midi skirts. Not mini, but it's midi. I have this gray sweatshirt that's by Forever 21 here. Just looks like this is pretty long. Um, but I would probably, this will be another like little lounging um, type deal. Not anything. I mean, I could wear it with maybe some leggings and some sneakers or something. But it's a sweatshirt, so nothing really to say about it. I have this black sweater by Karen Scott. Another cute sweater, just plain um black nothing too dramatic about it always can use black sweaters and karen scott is a really good brand as well and i have this top this nice pretty green top is by uh any day which is we know as the target brand i'm not gonna waste my time trying to get this button on but I like this little detail here. I think it's really feminine. So it buttons in the back and then has this little ruffle detail at the top. Here are the sleeves, another nice. And then the bottom of the sleeves has this nice little ruffle-like detail. So when it sits on your wrist, it just kind of flutters out. It's really cute. Found a pair of white pants. I don't know why, for some reason, I'm, I'm buying a lot of white pants recently, but it's okay because you can always use multiples. CJ Banks, they just look like that. White. Um, I think they come down to my ankle. Uh, really nice. Really, really nice. In good condition as well. Next, I really like these pants. These are great for vacation. These are by West Loop. So they just look like this. I am going to see if my mom can do something with the elastic because it's really worn. But they're like a wide leg pant. They are very thin. So these would be good for either like the pool or on vacation. They are not meant to, uh, I'm going to say for me, they're not meant to be worn by themselves. Wear some biker shorts or something on underneath. Because like I said, they are very thin. Found this really cute little bomber jacket, I think they're, they call it. With the cheetah print or leopard print lining really cute simple black uh jacket 
and then it has a zipper on the side. I think it buttons. No, it zippers. It zips up. Another just something. Just been kind of wanting something like that. Plain black. You know, you can never go wrong with that. Next is this Eddie Bauer uh, colorful camouflage is what I like to call it. It's really, really, really soft. Oh, this goes with my little leggings. <laughs> um, and that's what it looks like on the back. It does not have, nope, no pockets. I don't know why I thought I, it had a large front pocket, but no pockets. And that's okay. This Disney shirt I just picked up because my mom has been working on um, sweatshirts. And this, she's just going to cut out the Mickey Mouse and put the Mickey Mouse on a different Thing. So this I just bought. Okay. Next is are these Gloria Vanderbilt. Um, these are another pair of ankle. Oh no, they come all the way down. Really cute though. Nice. I like Gloria Vanderbilt. I do believe these fit just a tad bit tight, but they do have functioning front pockets. Okay. Next we have this Ralph Lauren purple cardigan super cute don't have any i don't have a whole lot of purple and i saw this and i was like you know what we're gonna get it we're gonna get it and it, it's just buttons buttons down or up whichever you want to say where are the oh here are the buttons i think they're really really cute again in great condition this is this black Short little sassy something because it does kind of dip. Uh oh, did I hold? Oh, I thought I had a hole. Um, it does dip a little low. It just says Dex. Not sure, but it is short. Um, especially on me, you can't really see that, but it's a knit, like that rib knit uh, material. This was two ninety eight. I just like how it kind of gets flowy at the bottom. I love flowy skirts and dresses especially because it just makes me feel very feminine next is this target brand t-shirt here i actually have the female what i call a female version of this t-shirt and i have the same thing in two in a canvas print that i ordered from target.com but this is just these were the lines that were created by i think it was like hbcu students these are just some tank tops, a brown one, and then this burgundy one. It has the built-in bra in it. They were like 99 cents. Okay, the next is just this. This is by Hello Mellow. This is just a little kick around dress that would just be something I would wear in the house as just a little lounging outfit. It does have a little pocket at the top. Um, it'll either be something to lounge in or to sleep in. It doesn't say, you know, some things when they're pajamas, it'll say something, something intimate. It doesn't say that, but then I have this navy blue, so pretty, um, skirt by Ann Klein. Navy blue, really cute, has a slit in the back. This is um, a size 16, and certain brands like Ann Klein and even Ann Taylor, I usually try to size up because sometimes certain, there are certain brands that just fit a little small, even though they could be my size. So I just size, size up on that. This fits, it's a little bit tight in the waist, but it's not something that is that would keep me from wearing it. I would just make sure that I have on something a little uh, long. This mustard colored shirt here is like a little tunic style top. It just looks like that up close. It's by the brand Adriana Papel and it's just long sleeve. It's thin. This is definitely a, a get out the house type of shirt, kick around, something. Another black sweatshirt. This is by, uh, uh, uh oh, oh, I'm sorry, Exertion. And it has that little detail in the back. I think this was like a workout thing or something. Because you know how years ago everybody was wearing the shirts and the jackets and stuff that had the little thumb holes. 
So it just looks like that. It's a little long. Again, great for um, just a little kick around, running out to the store type deal. This is just a black maxi dress by Maddie M. Um, it just kind of, it just looks like crisscross. It's a plain old maxi dress, something that goes all the way down to the ground that is nice and flowy. And I needed something to replace. I don't know if I got rid of the one that I had and I, I cause I think I did. Um, but yeah, we like a good maxi dress. Then here's this mini midi skirt. This is by Saks Fifth Avenue. It's this really thick, um, like sweater material. I absolutely love how, again, it's very flowy at the bottom. It's got this nice waistband. And it's another short one, but I could do this with a cute pair of black tights and um, a cute pair of ankle boots with a nice top or even like a jacket if I wanted to, you know, dress it down just a little bit. Have this sweater here by Martha Stewart. Didn't know she had clothes, but it just looks like this with the three quarter length sleeves. And there is the back, nothing special or anything about that. Next, we have this top here by 7th Avenue. It's a burgundy on top, and then it has like the built in quote unquote layered look with the polka dots. Hopefully, yeah. It is ripped on the side. But that's an easy sew. I'll either do that myself or see if my mom can do it. Because it's almost right on the seam where I can make sure that I can get that fixed. But it looks like that on the back. And then the sleeves are three-quarter length sleeves. Almost through with the clothes. Almost through, almost through. We have these pants by Amazon Essentials. Just a burgundy pair of joggers. These fit just a little bit tight. Um... They're tapered at the bottom. The uh, pockets are functional. Really cute, really cute. Another little lounging something. And this is just a two-piece. Um, so it's a maxi dress, a red, just long maxi dress. Oh, and that black maxi dress has slits on both sides. So it just looks like this. And then you have, this is by New York and Company. And then you have the sweater which you can wear together or separate, but I would wear them together because actually when I tried it on, I was like, oh, this is cute. So that is all of the dresses. Um, I'm going to pause you because I'm going to go sit down and I'll go through my books as well as the shoes and the purses I found. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to finish up with showing the shoes that I got. These are some sandals that are specially made for Pedicures. I'm just going to wipe them. I always wipe my shoes down with Lysol um, disinfectant wipes and I also spray them. But these are good for pedicures. So now I just have a special pair, special thing of flip flops. I'm going to go get my pedicure. That's those. These do not have a brand name on them. These were 14. $14.99, yeah, $14.49. They're really cute, espadrille style with the Velcro, Velcro strap. So your foot would just kind of go in and it would look like that. Really cute, in really good condition as well. Barely worn, nothing really going on on the inside. And then I have these Tahari heels, super cute. These were $5.99 really good condition not really been worn that much they do have a little damage to like the toe area as you can see um but that's not a that's not a horrible thing and then this cutie um there wasn't a price on this and you know normally some stores you go in when there's no price they won't sell it but I think because there wasn't anybody in the store, it was the first thing in the morning, the guy was like, I'll just give it to you. So he did sell this to me for just $5. But it's a cute suede, cute little crossbody. Um, it is by Lucky Brand. Here's this crossbody strap. And on the sides, it unbuttons or buttons. 
and it has a magnetic closure and it just looks like that on the inside this is really cute and normally i don't really like fringes and all that other kind of stuff but i don't know this i was like this bag i sold on my way out and i was like oh that's cute so we got it then i found this cutie i feel like i saw someone on youtube with this same 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 style but it's a cute little like wristlet um you're not going to get a whole lot in here but it'll be good for you know um evening or something but it looks it has this like uh yarn not yarn but cord here really cute this bag i think this was by Oh yeah, it was National Geographic. <laughs> Just put their hazard label on it. Um, I can't really, I think this is leather, but it's just a tote, zipper tote. The inside opens like that, nothing on the inside. You have your zipper and then these, this little detail here, but these are pockets in the front. So you got one there and one there and they're pretty deep so you can get some things in there and then the last bag more like a shopping bag is this j crew tote um it's like a canvas material so i will be throwing this in the washing machine uh there's no leather on it i don't think no everything is canvas and it just looks like that on the inside so this along with another one of my bags i'm gonna use specifically for thrifting or you know, just as the recycle bags for grocery shopping, because a lot of places now are not selling, um, or not, they don't provide you with bags. So you either have to bring your own or you just have to buy it. So, and it does snap as you can see, or you can open it to give it some extension. All right, so that is all of the clothes, shoes, and bags that I got. We're gonna go through my books really quickly. The first is The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Life is Messy by Matthew Kelly. All the Lovely Bad Ones by Mary Downing Hahn. I believe this is like a ghost story. Lisa Jewell, The Girls in the Garden. I really like this cover. Diane McKinney Whetstone, Tumbling. I just realized I think I have this <laughs> and I never this is why I have to put these things in my library at man uh, animal farm by George or Orwell I just was watching someone's YouTube video and they were talking about this that they read for like the first time and they were talking about how funny it was so it's I think it's one of those banned books but I just want to see uh, the Jones men by Vern Smith Mary B. Morrison, Man Eater. Stephen King's Christine. I have only read Stephen King's, I only read It by Stephen King. And really I listened to that on audiobook. Uh, Nancy Drew, The Hidden Staircase, or shall I say Carolyn King, The Hidden Staircase. And these are like the old school ones. Love these. I remember rereading that a few times. And then this one, The Secret of the Old Clock, is another one that I reread when I was younger. I used to love Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. Next is I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed. A few people in my reading groups have been talking about this one. Uh, Walk Like a Man by Lorinda Brown. The X-File or The X Chronicles by Carol Taylor. Wintering by Catherine May. Toni Morrison's Tar, Tar Baby. Shel Silverstein Falling Up. It did not have the dust cover, but y'all know this guy. He's another one on the band book list. John Woman by Walter Mosley. I really do love Walter Mosley books, and I pretty much have, he's a, he's a instant buy, just not new release, sorry. 
Leanne Moriarty truly madly guilty and it looks like the person started reading it and you can't see but there you go the death of Cliff Huxtable so we can survive Bill Cosby by Teresa Dalvest Wild Woman and the Blues by Denny Bryce a few of these books, literally a lot of people in my reading group were just reading them or talking about getting them. A, excuse me, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hussein. I had this before and got rid of it and I regretted it because I heard so many good things about it. This Mournable Body by Zip, mm -mm, we're not even going to say that name because I don't know. Zitsi Dangarimba. A Little Life. This is another one. Hanya Yaga, mm -hmm. we don't know. A lot, a lot, a lot of people have been talking about this book. Clifford's Blues by John Williams. Raising Cain by Gregory Cain. Twisted Trysts by Saja Boone Storm. It does say volume three, but it's a book of, of, of uh, short stories. Bamboozled by Jesus by Yvonne Yorji. A lot of ladies been talking about this one. Lisa Jules, A Family of Stairs. The Island by Adrian McKinty. All right, and the last three, The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson. The Whisper Man by Alex North. And the last one is Stephen L. Carter's Palace Council. Now, I bought these books from, I got books from each thrift store that I went into. Uh, the books, the ones, Salvation Army had anything that was green tag was 99 cents. So all of the books I got that were in here that had a green tag, those were 99 cents. Um, the Unique Thrift, which is AKA Savers, their books are buy four, get one free. And I bought the majority of those books from Savers. And then I also got a couple books. The last three books I got from uh, Waldorf Thrift Store in Maryland. Uh, all of these stores that I visited are in the state of Maryland. And I will put the information in the description box. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will let, I'll, you know, answer if you're looking for a location. I'm not a person that doesn't share the stores that I thrift in because I can't be in the thrift stores every single day, all day, though I would like to, but it's just not possible. So I do share where I thrift because I'm like, hey, I, I find these things and people always want to know. And if you get it and, and, and before I do, good for you. Because I know that's not going to be the only time that there's going to be some deals going on in that store. So that's why I don't worry about it. It is what it is at the end of the day. But I want to thank everybody from, for watching this video. If you made it through, um, I don't know, give me a shout. Just a, hey, made it, or we made it, something. I don't know. I really don't care. <laughs> it's not that serious. I just hope that you enjoyed this video. I do apologize that I went through it so fast, but I did have a lot of stuff. And I just wanted to get through it quickly. I am going to also try to start taking more pictures or videos of the outfits that I put together and how I wear them. Um, but thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, giving me thumbs up. I really, really, truly, truly appreciate it. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.